Yo, what's up? It's Ben MG Scully, knocking out a video for you guys. Tell us it's been a while. I have no idea how long it's been specifically. It's crazy how quick time has gone. So the last video I uploaded was January, and then before that was, you know, way into last year. But, you know, I'm glad to be back. And uh, for anyone wondering what this title is about, basically, I'm just going to give you guys a rundown. Because uh, if anyone has seen my last video, Connor Day Passmo after he beat Liam Mayfield after I raised his hand he says I'm next and I said I was done with that and since then we've been trying to arrange when we're going to do this now obviously we didn't really want to do it in winter time and because I work Connor works we've been trying to find the perfect time to do this because we want to do it on a day where people can come watch because the last time we done it, there was plenty of people there and it was amazing, it was a great event. And I want to do that. I want to do that again, if not better, you know. I don't want to downgrade from that. I don't want to do someone else's fight like that and then come do mine and not, you know, make it bigger. At the end of the day, I'm the, I guess I'm the name people want. So if you want to, you know, people are going to want to come watch my fight because I'm the one I'm I'm the owner of the channel that everyone watches it on. So naturally I'm gonna sell it a bit more I guess. But yeah. So basically me and Connor have been trying to sort this now for ooh, I don't know. About well, just over two about yeah, about two months now we've been trying to arrange this and right at, directly after the Liam fight, you know, we arranged it and we said early March to mid March and we said March twelfth and that's what we were saying and because of the day we wanted to do it on, it didn't quite match up with um, the day I, you know, with my work and I, uh, I said I'd try and book time off. Unfortunately, if any of you guys know, tax year starts in April, book, try and book time off in March, you never get it because everybody's booking time off for any days they haven't used. Um, so I couldn't, which is unfortunate. I said I couldn't do it, we'll see where we can maybe in the next few weeks, uh, but we just never talked about it. We never, you know, after a couple of weeks, we didn't carry on speaking. Um, I mean, I think we just both lived our lives for a little bit uh, until I see something on his story saying, where are you at, Scully? And saying that we were going to do it in March, but I couldn't be bothered and stuff like that. And I won't lie, it made me feel, com feel some kind of way I was just chilling with uh, talking to two of my mates and yeah I seen that on his story and I don't appreciate him trying to make it seem like I'm ducking him or anything like that that's not what's happening the I don't duck anybody if it's a fair fight and you can agree with that I mean I thought well I thought Mark Boswell had no clue how good he was gonna be you know I fought Niall originally you know, he's a popular kid, played rugby, athletic, bigger built than me. And yeah, I lost the fight against Niall and, you know, I didn't look particularly great against Mark. But the fact that I got in there, either knowing the challenge, how big of it, how big the challenge was, or not even knowing in general, just shows I don't duck people. Think about it. I lost to Niall Rudge. Then Niall Rudge fights Harley. And other than a knockdown happening, which makes it a draw, Harley outpoints Niall. And outboxes him. Niall convinced that he beat me. So if he is boxing worse than someone else, then I get in with that person. That sounds like a terrible matchup. But I still fought Harley. Do you know what I mean? And then I fought Dylan Barnett then on a video. And Dylan's boxed at the time around as long as me. You know? And obviously I, didn't, I, I had the better of him in that. Point is, I'm not... A wuss. I'm not avoiding people who want to fight and are a reasonable matchup. I've said no to plenty of people who've asked, either because they're younger than me, because they're a lot bigger than me, or because n nobody would want to see that fight. I don't think I've. I don't think there's many people because I'm quite a slim guy. There's not many people who have boxed to like obviously pose a challenge. Because if they don't box and I get in there and I win, no one's gonna give me credit for. It. I want to fight where. Not only are they popular enough to where people are going to be interested, but they got to be good enough to the fact that they're going to give me a challenge and also the fact that 
if I win, I get credit for it as well as them if they beat me. And also, they got to be the same weight, which unfortunately that narrows it down quite a lot. So there aren't that many people that I can reasonably box or that I would want to box. Connor is one of those people. And ever since before he had his first fight against Riley, he said, I want to box you eventually. Then after the Dylan fight, well, before the Dylan fight, after he beat Riley, he said, when I beat, when I beat Dylan, when, by the way, when I beat Dylan, I want to box you next. He fought Dylan. I said, well, are, we, are we doing this then? He said, give me a little bit of time to train, because I guess he was surprised by, you know, it was the first time he took adversity, I can understand, you know. He knows that I boxed Dylan, and I convincingly won all the rounds against him, and then Dylan whooped his ass for the first two rounds. So I guess he's thinking, you know, if he couldn't do that to Ben, I need to go back to the drawing board, you know, so Ben doesn't beat the shit out of me. I can understand that, you know, and it's fair. So he went back to the drawing board for a little while, and a few months later come back and go in with another tomato can called... Uh, yeah, and I understand that, but, you know, after a few months then he came back in in January and he fought Liam Mayfield. And, you know, he, no offence to Liam, you know, he got in there, fair play to him, but, you know, he got a bit embarrassed by Connor, you know. Uh, but the thing is, I feel like Connor's inflated ego is, like, affecting him because he fought Riley Michael, who's half the size of him. He fought Dylan Barnett, which was a fair fight, so I give credit for him to, that, uh, to him for that. And then he fought Liam Mayfield, who had never boxed and you could clearly see he didn't want to be in there so I just because he's got a 3-0 record with two stoppages technically a better record than me when you look at it closely it's not as good as it looks you know if I got in with all three of them I sparred Riley I've won again I've won spars against Riley I sparred Dylan I've won rounds I've, I've, I've fought Dylan I won against Dylan and I fought Liam well sorry I haven't fought Liam Mayfield but is there a question in that if I were to beat Liam Mayfield? I, I, the reason I wouldn't fight Liam Mayfield is because of the lack of challenge. Whereas Connor seems like he just wants to get in there and a win is a win regardless of who it is. And that's not how I do it. So I'm looking forward to getting in there. And I feel like the peop some people are buying into his hype. You know, they they see a 3-0 and record. He's had He's been pretty active. He's had three his three fights since my last fight. So... You know, I gotta, you know, what's the word? Get the get the rust off and get back in there and show and show this kid what's up and show him that you don't talk all that crap when you look at his resume or lack thereof. So we've been talking about it since last night when he posted that thing on his story, and I'm glad to say that we we're looking at April twenty ninth on a Friday. And uh, if not, then I'm sure we could do it some some way either a little bit before or a little bit after we got a bit of wiggle room thankfully uh but we're looking at late april early may so basically from the from when i'm recording this april 5th it's within a month basically so i just want to let you guys know that he's posted that i don't appreciate it and it's got my attention and the fight's going to be happening within a month from now. Hopefully, barring any incidents, it's happening in a month. And I hope there's no, nothing gets in the way. So, good luck, Connor. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you all for being so patient as well, not only with this fight, but just my channel in general. It's been kind of ancient now, a little while, but I appreciate you guys being patient, and I look forward to boxing for you guys in the future. So, I'll see you guys soon. Ben MG Scully is out.